Okay guys, I went ahead and put my I put my extruder together. I was having some problems with it. Um, basically, if you get a hot bolt, make sure they have a, a good reputation. The way that this hot bolt was made was by pressing, it wasn't cut. And what I mean by that is that if if you take a look at the bolt itself, if I can get it off, um, it it was th the way that the the hobs, what I'm calling the hobs, were placed was by rotating it and pressing it. And the problem with this is that it caused a bulge, and that bulge ended up almost breaking some of my printed pieces when I was trying to fit them together. Um, so I, I honestly just got frustrated and, and I had to take a lot of care in putting this together. So I, I went ahead and put it together because I didn't want to put you guys through the horrible heartache that I was going through. However, I am going to take parts of it apart uh, if I can and uh, show you guys what I'm talking about and how this particular extruder works. This is a geared dri gear drive extruder. It is different from a direct drive extruder in that we have this set of gears that changes the, uh, changes the timing of the rotation. Uh, so basically what that means is you're going to have a multiplier because for every time this turns around, this turns around much less. So it actually drives the, uh, drives the, the screw much slower. Uh, just a way to meter, your, meter yourself. Um, also, as you can see, or maybe you can't, I'm a little bit off. I need to I need to make sure that you need to make sure that your your hobs are in line with where your lines feeding in otherwise it could crawl over the top and slip and that'd be that's not good this is the the worst problem I've actually had with running these things is that when I first built my first one I did not realize that this bearing needed something to support it. So I had this bearing floating in here free. I had all kinds of problems. This model does not come with anything to put here. So you're going to have to find something. I'll list the, the uh, Thingiverse numbers for the herringbone gear set and for the extruder uh, in, in my comments on the video. But I haven't placed this in yet because I haven't found anything yet. Just sort of scavenging around. Might use a pencil. I think it's probably the right size, but I'll have to cut it. So yeah, that's amazing. I'm really happy. I just saw that. Congratulations, me. Anyways, um, what the what this model consists of is this large plate with all kinds of holes that I don't use at all. I have no idea what they're there for, but I don't use them. Um, it'll, it has this hole for your Bowden. This is a Bowden type extruder, uh, so it has it has a slot for you to place your your press fit hardware in here. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'll tell you what I did was I found a bolt that is the same size, same thread pitch as the push fit connection and I used that to start my thread because as you can see there's it's a really tight fit and it's just hard to get in there and press it in um, I mean unless you have a tap and like I said in the previous video I don't have any taps um, I, it's plastic I should be able to do it without a tap as far as I'm concerned okay so you've got the large piece and you've got this hinge and the hinge the hinge action is there's supposed to be a 
spring that goes in here and I don't have any springs yet either but um, I think I can get by without the springs for now and do a couple test prints so I'm gonna leave this for like this for now until I can scavenge some more ball points since I've basically scavenged all my ball points at this point and of course you've got to have your motor so the the way this gear attaches to the motor is that there is a counter well I guess it's a little hard to see since I've put it together so not have not nicely but right in the bottom there is a nut trap and that keeps you from exploding your gear as you tighten this you're gonna have to probably tighten this down again at some point uh, I don't like to tighten everything down massively. I like to try and get it to a happy medium. So I'm probably going to end up having to tighten that down. But this is this is the part that I almost broke when I was trying to put it together. As you can see, this herringbone gear has this really sort of nice looking pattern on the inside. And sadly, this beautiful pattern also makes it slightly weak. Um, so when I was pressing in my bolt, I had to give it push con considerably hard because, well, either my prints are just slightly too small, which is probably the case. Um, yeah, that's probably what it was. My print is probably the ins the inside of this is too small. So just be careful if you're going to print this set out and 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 make sure you're not pushing in such a way that you're going to flex this inner this inner circle because you'll crack them this this is cracked but i think it's going to work so i'm going to go ahead and try and use it i mean it's holding together i think it's it's probably going to be fine for at least until i can print another set out and exchange it you want to make sure that your gears are pushed close together but you don't want them to be fighting against each other and what I mean by that is I don't know if you can see this but there is a little bit of wiggle room if if your gears are pressed too tightly together you're basically gonna wear stuff out don't tighten anything up too much that's my number one thing if you have to every once in a while go through and check your bolts and tighten things up on your on your printer these do vibrate and they do have a problem with bolts loosening over time but um, as for the parts used I used these are these are um, 8 millimeter M3's that I used to attach the the stepper motor this is also an 8 millimeter M3 and we have to have our hobbed bolt your hobbed bolts gonna come with a whole bunch of washers and I actually had to have a bunch more I don't like the person that made this hob bolt and I'll probably won't buy any more from them um, I'm not happy with the hob bolt at all um, you're also gonna need some pretty long M3's hopefully these are long enough for me I'm not sure that they are gonna be long enough to put a spring on I might have to cut my spring but you're also gonna need um, three of these skate bearings these are really easy to find and uh, one goes on this side and as you can see there's a nice little slot for it and one goes on the other side and your last one of course is going to go into your tensioning system which presses your filament up against your hob bolt so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this if anybody is really interested I'll go ahead and take it apart and put another video up um,